Hi everybody! Thanks for checking out my infrared sauna vlog. This is where I sit in my infrared sauna for like an hour, sometimes even an hour and a half. And I sweat my buns off and I meditate and I relax and I take really take time for myself and my spiritual evolution. And I also talk about spiritual topics while I'm here for a few minutes just so that I can go back and hear them again and remember what I'm supposed to do and what I'm supposed to know. Okay. So, and also when you're in the infrared sauna, you just sweat really gallons of water and, um, detox like amazingly just clean yourself out every day. It's very profound. Um, <clears throat> <it's cool stuff. laughs> so, um, I've been doing a series of, of vlogs about the 12 spiritual laws because, or the 12 universal laws as they're called. I like to also call them the 12 energetic laws because they're really about how to use the energy that we're all subject to in this dimension. And we also affect the higher dimensions, by the way, um, to a degree and to, depending on our work and what, how much time we spend practicing that t type of energetic work. Um, but knowing how to use the energy in this dimension is so profound and so critical and knowing how to manifest and changing negative patterns that continue to manifest bad things in your life. Right? So, um, today, we're doing law 11. It is 11, right? Yeah. Oh, no, excuse me. Law 10. My bad. And that is the law of polarity or the law of opposites. And that law basically say, states that for everything in the universe, there's an opposite. Okay, so, well, what does that mean? That, that can be very profound and very almost confusing. But in terms of us, I believe what it means is that we all have a shadow self. We have a higher self and we have a shadow self. And I believe the shadow self comes out a lot wherein, when we are in, incarnated in this dimension, right? And it's a time for us to really get to know our shadow self so that we can become accepting and integrating and transmuting of any negative behaviors that come out with our shadow self, okay? Based in whatever they're based in from, you know, whatever lifetime and or whatever time in this life that you just have to understand if you can acknowledge and accept and integrate and then transmute, you can change everything about yourself. Um, and back to the law of opposites. Everything has an opposite, right? So if you're having um, troubles of lack or whatever, instead of continuing to focus on the lack, how about focus on the opposite, which is the abundant abundance of whatever it is you feel lack. So imagine and feel all the joy and um, gratitude and heart chakra, chakra exploding type feelings that you would feel if you already had what you're lacking. Because focusing on that energetically, number one, it's gonna make you feel good because you'll be like, damn, ooh, you just feel so elated when you have the gratitude flowing through your body. Changes everything, changes your whole day, you know? But it also changes what you manifest. And what you manifest is in every thought, every moment, what you're feeling and thinking and eventually the what you're speaking about because the, the word the written or spoken word is so powerful because it literally brings things into this dimension right you know your thoughts and your feelings can be in the higher dimensions and we create non-stop in the higher dimensions the more positive things we think about the more positive things we create and put them in the queue ready to come down into particle form into this heavy duty solid third dimension so what we do and what we say manifests, ends up manifesting the most. 
and what we feel is like the amplifier of that. So in terms of the opposites, how about focus on, if you're experiencing lack, how about focusing on the opposite of that so that that's what we manifest. Woohoo! La, that's my lesson for today. And I'm going to now, I've got, oh, I'm going to put the time up again because I just need a little more sweat. Um, it's 1.33 though in here right now. And um, I'm going to stay in here at least another 45 minutes, I'm sure. <sighs> it's almost the weekend and I hope everybody just takes this information to heart and really understands how they can change their life for the better. Please reach out. I'm here. I have, I can answer questions. Also, I can even do short free readings for those really desperate, um, only for the positive evolution of whatever the, ta you know, whatever the issue is at hand. Um, and so please subscribe. It really would make a difference to me because then I can feel an interaction, you know, at least see an interaction there. So, Blessings to everybody and... Peace.